Photo grids are a compact array of photos, of which there are two types. Static photo grids and smart photo grids. You can find these in the online content catalogue under Components, Image Resources and Photo Grids. Static photo grids are aesthetically pleasing arrays of photos, but in a fixed arrangement. You can then use the photo tools to adjust the image within its frame, but it's not generally a good idea to change the crop or size of the individual images. Smart photo grids are more flexible. They're essentially a smart shape that lets you display any collection of photos, even those with different shapes and aspect ratios in a compact grid. You can adjust the number of photos on each row, or number of rows, drag to reorder the photos, and adjust the gap in between all the photos. To replace an image with your own photo, just drag and drop a photo file from Windows Explorer or from the bitmap gallery if the photo is already in the current documents. The image in the grid is replaced with your photo, and with a smart photo grid, the grid automatically updates to fit your photo. Note that this won't work with a photo document. Alternatively, you can right-click on your photo and select Replace Photo. This will work with a photo document. Then choose to either replace the photo with one of your own photo files or else with a stock picture from the content catalogue. Now with a smart photo grid, show the smart shape handles by double-clicking on the grid or use the quick shape tool. Shift F2 is the keyboard shortcut. You can also use the photo adjustment handles on individual images by going into the photo tool and clicking on an image. Each time you replace an image, it puts you into this photo tool mode. To get back to the smart shape handles, use the quick shape tool or go back to the selector tool and double click again. If you hover over a handle, you'll see a useful tooltip. Drag the blue handle in the centre of an image to reorder it. Click one of the green handles to delete an image. This will reshuffle and resize the images on the grid. Resize the grid here or use the selector tool. Rotate the grid up here. To add more images, click the green Add Photo handle on the right end of each row or drag the Add Remove Rows handle at the bottom left of the grid to add a complete row. The height of a row is calculated by fitting the number of images in this row into the width of the grid. So the more images per row, the less tall that row is, especially if the images are wide like panorama photos. Similarly, rows containing just a single image will usually be taller. There's a border width handle on the top left photo in the grid that lets you adjust the space between each photo. You can have no space at all if you choose, but when you do have a border, it's simply empty space between the photos, so you see whatever is behind your photo grid. Therefore, if you want to see something other than the page background, just draw a rectangle with the desired colour to act as your new background. 